Did you have to be so hard on him? He was pretending to be the recipient of the highest honor awarded in the world of acting. I know, but it's just... It's just what, Francine? He was making out like he won an Oscar. You're right. You don't really have a degree in archaeology. You're a fraud. How can you say that to someone the world has recognized in so many ways? I have an Oscar! That's Cuba Gooding's Oscar. You just bought it on eBay. Nuh-uh. I bought it and left feedback. Where were you born? That's getting awfully personal. What? But, but how am I going to do my assignment? Maybe you don't do this one. It's high school, Steve. It doesn't matter. You said that about middle school. When's it start to matter? But I could earn things. I could work hard if I wanted. I know. You've got great stuff in there. You just have to apply yourself. You believe in me! I'm gonna fail this assignment because my dad won't open up. I'm gonna fail because my dad went to Home Depot five years ago and never came back. Roger, don't listen to him. Let your actions speak for themselves. Like when you get drunk tonight and eat all the fruit leather which you claim to hate. I do hate it! Where is it? Not for you. You're in training. And I'm gonna help you. <laughs> Remember, the goal is to finish. Ha! I'm gonna win this thing! Everybody looks so slow! On your marks. Get set. First five, ten times you take a life, it's eerie. You remember every detail. I can see all their faces. One had a beard. Each time I pulled the trigger, I tied a little knot in my memory that no amount of whiskey could loosen. You did it! Yay! We love you, Roger! Your butt looks so great in those shorts! You know, I was gonna give you this after the race, but... Here. What's this for? You won a Franny! It's because you worked really hard. Oh! So I was like... Roger, I'm done with you. No more praise, no more support. You don't deserve it. In fact, I'm taking back my Franny. <gasps> How could you? I worked for that! There I'd have a cigarette, too, if I ran into that looker Rhonda with the natural low hangers. And then I'd head down the street to where that house is getting a second floor, pop into one of the porta potties for the construction workers, and try to pass my enormous breakfast. Oh, what the? You BA'd your son! Uh, the bus is here? Get out of here, snot! Franny, let's go. I need you to take a picture of me and the Miata for my trophy case. I can't turn this in. It's all about my dad killing people. Call your dad again and get him to talk about something else. Hello? Hey, Dad. Son, glad you called. I'm done being the sucker, Roger. You're lazy and a cheat, and I'm done. No, I need you. I'm, I'm sorry. Look, I, I won't be lazy. I'll do something real, I promise. Your word is as worthless as your diploma. Well, why don't I show you? Two million years ago, a glacier cut through this valley. The river used to flow east to west. That's why I knew we had to start south. Dad, when you were my age, what was the cost of a loaf of bread? The focus becomes how hot she gets. How many times I can make her shudder with pleasure? All right, this is enough. Dad, what do Mom's boobs look like? Oh my God, Roger, I think you found a lost tribe. Ednolbria. Hmm, they're speaking Sadrakab, the language of an indigenous tribe that lived in these mountains thousands of years ago. That's how he wears it sometimes. Hello. What do we have here? What is it? I'm pretty sure they only want me down there. Oh boy, I hope I don't embarrass myself. Who knows if I can even keep up. Two, three, four! <laughs> you ruined the episode. I can't believe you discovered a lost tribe. You know, before you brought me here, I thought all this archaeology stuff was just another one of your scams. I'm calling from my history class. So, who was president when you were a kid? Oh, I don't know. I guess I think about killing myself pretty frequently. And why not? What's so great about a living? You know when I'm happy? 
for about five seconds in the morning when I first wake up. <laughs> Let's head home. What? No! We need to stay and study these people. This is all so fascinating. How oh. Gary doesn't want to leave. I, I don't know what to tell you, Hannah. All right, all right, how about this? I'll do something that makes the tribe mad, and you guys chase us out of here. This was supposed to last three hours. We only rehearsed the dance number and the feast. We're out of material. Hey, you guys all had improv on your resumes. Actually, we prefer to be called actors now as well. Shut up, Hannah! So this was all a setup? But how? How did you do all this? Well, it started with the casting. Ryan Creamwell? Shoot! Must have taken a wrong turn. Um... Um... This way! <laughs> We're gonna make it! <laughs> Hurry, everyone! Stan will be here any moment. Do you think he'll like my gift, Mother? If it's anything like you, sweet Stephen, I'm sure he'll adore it. Lord, it's warm. Yeah, but now you just think I'm a big, lazy faker again. Lazy? Roger, I've never seen anyone work so hard on anything in my entire life. You mean, I impressed you? And how? He's here! The guest of honor is here! Francine, get my fender sponge. I hit another dog driving home. Surprise! <laughs> it's been a super long time. I miss you. I miss us. Having a ton of sex. You look tired. <laughs> Daddy, no, don't go! <laughs> Daddy! Stan! I never knew! What has gotten into you? I said no birthdays! But why? Why? I'll tell you why. But understand, the why I'm talking about isn't the place where poor people learn to swim and gay drifters rule the showers. Never cared much for the bubbly myself. Water's my drink. That's so refreshing. You should try it with a twist of lime. <laughs> Edna, I'm not talking about water. Water's disgusting! Where did you go, Stan? Swept up by a wave of your own darkness. Go easy, bro. He was eating crab and driving. He'd be spending the night in the cooler if there was anything illegal about what he was doing. Thank you, Ronan. We'll take it from here. We? Was we? <laughs> <laughs> why did you leave? Why did you stay? I was eight! I just ate! That's why I can't swim right now. Not for uh, nine more minutes. What the hell are you doing here? You're supposed to be in jail. I called in a favor to the warden. He's my brother, remember? Oh, yeah. I figured if your dad's the one who ruined your birthdays... See, it's... deep. Very deep. Is it dangerous? Were you scared? A little. Any man who says he's not is a liar. More champagne. Yes, it was the best day of my life. Until it was not that. At all. Where to, Mac? As far away from my family as possible. Daddy! I'm sorry, Edna. No! If I had known I was gonna fall in love, I never would have agreed to raise this baby for Haley, whose baby it actually is. <gasps> Avery! Oh, I didn't hear nothing. <laughs> Listen! There! It sounds like a baby. Show yourself, baby! It's not mine, I'm just raising a... A baby. And there he goes, everyone, right on cue, leaving in the middle of another party. Papa, now that you're making merry, perhaps you'd like to open my gift? Not now, Steve. My cup overfloweth. I have cake face and balloon. Stan, you're exhausted. Why don't you rest? Rest? Yes, 
Dan, you've got yourself! Well, it's my birthday. I should be allowed to feel something. <laughs> it's... TMI. <gasps> It popped. I started crying. <laughs> Went searching for my mommy. Mommy, my balloon! I remember another sound. A horn or a honking. I know that now! Really? Already? Yes! Then let's be together! Oh, Avery! Let's go get our child and begin our life together anew. I told you throwing Stan a birthday party was a bad idea. I know Stan caught you cheating on his father with a clown. You! All these years, I blamed my father for destroying our family. It wasn't your fault. You left because Mom pushed you away. She's a no-good clown whore! You watch your punk mouth. Your mother is a rose, and you're just a weed that grows in her shade. But she cheated on you. Oh, God, no. No! no! I didn't know! Avery, I did it so we could be together! <laughs> There's no distinction, no demarcation. You had to have a clown at your birthday. Otherwise, your party wasn't going to be perfect. But your father and I didn't have any money for a real clown. Clowns were scarce in those days. The good ones could name their own price. Your balloon dog had just popped and you were looking for your mommy like a bitch. Mommy! Mommy, my balloon! You want the truth, Stan? It's just beyond that door. Here's your present, Papa! Steve! Let me guess. You don't have time. Well, how about I open it for you? Here! It's an authentic 19th century army revolver. Not that you care. I always manage to stay one oversized step ahead of him until your birthday. Thanks to you, there I was, performing in that outfit! Of course, before I left, I had to show your mother just how much I loved her one last time. Oh, Jack. That means it was my fault you left. Bingo. <laughs> It appears the guilt that consumes Stan